Hey guys, what's up? So I just want to give you guys a quick look at some of the new features of the 32-bit controllers uh, that's running off of the Lexmos base uh, gimbal controllers. So let me plug in the battery, show you guys different modes. So there's a few good gimbals out there available in the market now, you know, the Movi, the new DJI Ronin, um, very nice gimbals. So they have some very cool features. So standard follow mode, as you can see here, in the center, we got the standard follow mode. So Pretty cool feature that the Ronin has is the briefcase mode, so I can show you that. But I'm not using the DJI Ronin right now. I have the Lexmos. I got briefcase mode. So to, to go enter briefcase mode, it's very simple. You just tap it once to put into lock mode, or the way you have a program. I have mine's profile one for lock mode. You can see it's locked. But if I want to go back into follow mode, one, two, three, four, whatever you set it for, I have mine set for a medium speed follow. You can see. I have full control of follow. If I want, I can even do this setup right here where the tilt is fixed. And I, I can still use the joystick to either look up or look down to get my shots. So if I'm doing a low shot, I want to look up like this. I can still hold it down there and then I can still control manual panning, which is very nice. And I can also hook it up to like a second you know, transmitter here and turn this on and show you guys how the joystick transmitter works. So it's, I think it's pairing. You can see, I can have another person, you know, look through a monitor or the, the app or whatever, and just get the framing, so that's very neat. So in order for me to switch back, I just put it back into lock mode to release the follow. Now I'm gonna put it back here, and then two, three, four. And now I'm back to full follow mode. So that's one of, one of my favorite features that I like about the, uh, the Lexmos is it's, it's very open, you can, you know, you can program a lot. However, it's not that user friendly, but once you get the hang of it, know how to tune, know how to do some settings, it's actually a very nice feature to have. You know, I can still do this. This is one thing that I didn't like about the DJI Ronin was I can't look up and, you know, I can't roll it like this. For example, if I want to do one of those tree shots and I want to do, you know, go around a tree or if I want to look down and, you know, I'm on a stairway and I want to, like, you know, go around and do this. I can't really do that with the DJI Ronin currently, not with the available firmware that was first released with it. But yeah, pretty cool. I and mean, I have different speeds on the fly, one, two, three, four, five, if I want. So it's good about having a joystick and a, a mode button is I can I can make it you know fast, or I can slow it down, and then you know on the fly without having to put the gimbal down and you know use the app or use the computer. You can see. The follow is a lot slower now for cinematic shots. Or I can do this shot. One, two. Lock my tilt. I can go up and just, you know, I can still pan. So that's very nice. But my favorite mode is this. Boom. Look at that. Briefcase mode. Oh, you gotta be careful to make sure your gimbal's well balanced or else it would throw off. But yes, that's one of the things about the do-it-yourself gimbal or the cheaper gimbals is it's a little bit trickier to balance, but you can see here, briefcase mode, one, two, and then, good thing about briefcase mode, if you like to do a lot of shots, long period of time, I can just use the handlebar on my gimbal, put it against my leg, and now I have like a very nice stable platform, I can see I can just do this all day long, if I want to follow somebody, for example, you had a parade, you had one of those little events where people are running down the street or jogging over and over, and you just want to get like, you know, continuous shots like this, you can use your leg as a tripod or a brace and now you can just you know get the super smooth panning shots like the cinematic you know you can even do time lapse if you want maybe hyperlapse you can just hold it and you can just walk along a line you know you can walk 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 or you can put it into this mode which is I have a program for one where you see how it's locked now I can just walk a really long distance and the camera's always going to be facing for example north south east west wherever you put it but if you want you know, you can still come back with the second person or use the joystick here to, uh, you know, to manually turn it, you, you can see here. So, pretty cool, I just want to give you guys a quick look, you know, been uh, really busy playing with different stuff, new features, the new uh, Lexmos uh, auto-tuning should be coming out very soon. I can't show you guys that just yet, but it is coming out very soon, and that will make life a lot easier for a lot of guys who have trouble tuning, but yeah, so, boom, back to one on the fly without having to do anything else and two sensors. So there you go. That was a quick look at some of the cool features of the Lexmos uh, new 
32 bit running on 2.41 B5 or B4 and B5 firmware. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, guys.